welcome to today's session so today we are looking at question 6 from the 2021 grade 12 mathematics paper 2 prepared by the examination council of zambia so question 6 leads answer the all of this question on a sheet of plain paper so once you read this question you discover that this is on construction okay and there is always a question on construction in every mathematics paper 2 and the questions are 90 nine percent the same there are only few things that changes and most of the times they are the same so question a leads Roman numeral one construct triangle abc in which ab is equal to six centimeter bc nine centimeter and ac five centimeter so in this case we are given all the measurement of the three sides then we need to construct the other version is where we are given two sides or one side then we are given two angles so it's the same so if you want to uh, see that scenario look at the video on 2022 gce mathematics on construction so what you need to do is in this case we need to think critically the compass and the ruler so the ruler the ruler in this case you get it and measure remember your ruler is fixed so you come and measure it to ensure that this is 60 centimeter Okay, me and my ruler, I can zoom it because I measured using the standard ruler to get this 6 cm. So once you measure this side, it becomes 6 cm correctly. You measure it, it's 6 cm correctly. So we are going to label these two points, point A and B. So point A and B are the starting points. So we are starting with basically this line. Okay, you are starting with this line basically. Which is a b which is six centimeter so you are going to label a here the same way then b this side you label it then once you do that then you need a compass so this compass is what you need now so to ensure that so you go to the next one which is nine centimeter so you measure nine centimeter exactly so this nine centimeter is what we are going to put at b c b c so we are going to put at b then measure ensure that you measure this is uh, 9 cm so we are going to put here 9 cm okay the standard 9 cm then you do this arc so you need to go and do this arc okay so you do this arc you see this arc that I've done like this so under the normal circumstances this one will be uh, enough for you to you put it there then you make this arc so this arc is what you are going to make so similarly you come and measure five centimeter then you come and put this compass exactly like this one then also measure a, a five centimeter so at the point where these two intersect that's where point c will be that's where point c will be so basically this is how you deal, deal with it, the first part which is part a then you have this triangle okay we have this triangle which is now a b c okay with the, this side and this will be nine centimeters this will be five centimeters so this is how you do with the first part then you go to the second part measure and and write the size of triangle a b c so this is where you need the, the protractor so this protractor you you get it then come and put it at angle a b which is angle b there exactly at this sharp you put it there then you measure okay so you are going to measure so if you if you put it properly it should be big under the normal remember protractor is fixed to me this mine is a bit slightly small so when you measure it you discover that this will give you roughly uh approximately it will be 32 which should be around the um 31.8 or so centimeters so this one will light it to 32 uh degrees to in that case so this is how you do this one then you get this part okay so let us move to uh, part b so part b is saying within the triangle a b a b c draw the locus of points which are equidistant from a and c so when here the word equidistant is from the word equi which means the same so those points should be the same from a and c so they should have the same distance so how do you answer this question so for this one you just need a compass you need a compass so what you need is you need to extend this compass big enough such that remember it's from a and c so you need to bring this compass here 
at A. The first thing is you put it at A here. Then you draw an arc. Okay. So you draw this arc. This arc that you draw it. You get it. Then you do the same at T. Uh, basically at C. Okay. At C you put there at C exactly at this point. Then you draw another. You, so you draw another arc without changing the distance. So you have two arcs like that. So where they are meeting, that's the first point. So in this case, we are DC. You've seen this arc. So similarly, you come at this point, you draw another arc, okay? Then this side, another arc. So ideally, to be efficient, what you would have done is the time you put this compass here, you draw this arc, okay? So you draw this arc, then you also draw this arc. Then when you come here, you draw this arc, then again you draw this arc. So the point these two are meeting, then what you do is you join it with a straight line. So once you join it with a straight line, you end up with the these uh, compasses that these lines that you are seeing. So you are seeing these arcs, these arcs, and join this line. So this line, which is it, B Loma numero one, is what they are expecting to see on your drawings. Okay, so that's part two. Part two, one. Of B. Let us go to part, part 2. So part 2 says 3 cm from A. So 3 cm from A. So when you look at 3 cm from A, again here what will be critical is uh, again the, the, the compass. So it's this compass that will be critical. So what you need to do is you need to measure this compass. You need to measure this compass in such a way that this compass is 3 cm exactly on. Then when it becomes 3 cm exactly, Okay, three centimeter exactly. Remember, this is zoomed in. Then you come and this standard A, put it at A. So you put it at A. So I'm going to put it at A and draw this locus. You seen this locus? So you draw this locus. You seen this locus? You draw it like this. So once you draw this locus, then what you get is what they are looking for. So this should do leash there. Okay, so we have something like that. So hence, we are seeing this line. So this line that you are seeing is basically the one for B, uh, basically B22, two, two, this line. That's what they are expecting you to, to do. So that's this part. Okay, the next number three says equidistant from AC and BC. AC and BC. So when you're talking about equidistance, what you are saying is the line should be the same again from AC to BC. So from AC, so it's AC is this side, then to BC. So it should be the same distance. So how do you achieve that? So the first thing that you need to do again in this case, what is important is the compass. So you get the compass, just measure, extend enough without any specific. Then you we'll do an arc here. So you put the compass here. Okay, at C, point C, there you put the compass. So you put your compass at point C, ideally. So once you put it at point C, then you draw a small arc and another arc here without changing the distance. So it then should be the same. Then next what you do is you bring your compass in at this point. So you're going to bring your compass where you did this arc. Then draw this arc. You've seen this arc? You're going to draw this arc. Then you come at this point again, you draw another arc. So where these two are meeting, then you join this straight line like that. So that straight line is what is in equidistance. So meaning the line from here to here is the same as the line from here to here. That's what you, you are required of. So this is B, uh, B3. Okay. So that's how you get to this one. Then let us move to point to question C. So question C is basically asking us a point p a point p within triangle abc is such that it is less than or equal to 3 cm less than or equal to 3 cm okay from a so less or equal to so it's this region inside here you see it's inside that locus nearer to bc than AC. Nearer to BC than AC. So BC is this side. 
So it's nearer to BC. It's all the points that are above this line. Then this side, they're nearer to AC. Okay? So within the triangle, so we're talking about this area. So we don't go beyond this line. Okay? So we're talking about now this area, ideally. You say BC, line E. Okay? And closer to A than C. Closer to A than C. So the area that is closer to A than C is this area inside. So it doesn't go beyond this. Okay? It doesn't go beyond that. So basically, we are now excluding this part. Okay? We are excluding this part. So what we get, we get this. Okay? Then, indicate cleared by shading the region in which P must lie. So the region is basically this region. You've seen this region? This region is what we are talking about. So it's this region where P should lie. So and we shall call this part P. Okay? So let us call this part with a lead P. So basically, this is where P must lie. So basically, this is how you answer this question on construction. Thank you for watching this episode. Please check out for other episodes on uh, construction for 20. 19 paper, 2022 paper, GCE, and 2022 GCE paper. Thank you very much for joining us today.